WMUR News 9 starts now. Good evening, I'm Sharice LeClaire with this WMUR News 9 update. Remembering the attack on Pearl Harbor 78 years later. A somber gathering at the New Hampshire Veterans Home in Tilton this morning. Speakers included Senator Maggie Hassan and Chief of Staff for the New Hampshire Air National Guard, Brigadier General Jed French. 98-year-old Walter Borchardt was recognized as the only veteran living at the facility who, as a 20-year-old sailor, was stationed at Pearl Harbor when it was attacked. In commitment 2020 now, two Democratic presidential candidates are in New Hampshire, including Elizabeth Warren. This is video from Rochester, where she spoke to members of the community this morning. She also answered questions during a town hall event in Rye. Democratic candidate Deval Patrick spent his day in the state as well. He attended events in Concord. In the spirit of giving, thousands of toys have been donated through our drive in benefits of Toys for Tots. Today, Jack Customs dropped off more than 1,300 toys and more than 100 bikes at the Walmart in Manchester. That's one of our collection sites. And the Hudson Memorial Post gave more than $10,000 to purchase presents for those in need. Gifts of all sizes are welcome. It's just something that I've always cared about because I was a, you know, unfortunate child. You know, we didn't have too much money. We had enough that my parents, you know, were able to give us stuff, but not, you know, everything that we ever wanted. The drive runs through tomorrow. Drop off locations can be found on WMUR.com. Now here's meteorologist Eric Weglars with the forecast. The weather will be nice tomorrow as well. Temperatures though tonight will be on the chillier side. A few light snow showers coming down range of the White Mountains at this hour. But look at this clear skies tonight. Temperatures will fall below 10 for most spots. The exception being Plymouth and Laconia and along the seacoast as well. So a very cold night tonight. And temperatures tomorrow climb back up to the freezing mark in the afternoon. At least near freezing. A mix of sun and clouds. More more clouds though later on in the afternoon. We go to the 40s and the 50s tomorrow and Tuesday. Any freezing drizzle early on Monday gives way to rain in the afternoon. Showers continue on Tuesday, brighter for the end of the week. All right, Eric, thanks so much. Join us for all the night's news at 10 on MeTV New Hampshire and after the game right here on WMUR.